and amongst others is the provision of free health education of free health and also free education so part of doing this work we are doing an oversight work which is a duty of all members of parliament so we've taken a decision that we are going to visit all the key critical hospitals in different areas because i'm residing in port elizabeth i've been assigned to, to cover the port elizabeth hospitals in particular to so basically we are here to do that oversight to see the type of equipment that our people are using it's our legislative right to do it it is not a favor that you are asking from them it's a duty that uh, we have to do. If for some reason they decide to block us from doing that, if they decide to block us and say that we cannot come for whatever reason, so even if they decide to delay us with all these things that they are doing, you see, if the whole point is to play delaying tactic, they are doing it at their own predicament. Of there's no capacity on hospitals. Sometimes, whilst our people have arrived, they will arrive overnight and they will be told that uh, there is not enough beds to sleep. And uh, during the middle of the night, they will be forced to change beds with people. And uh, every year, we know that there is a provision, there is a budget given for hospitals. So, we want to know if that budget is used to the latter. Why are we having equipment deficiency in our hospitals? Why are people are dying when we are told that uh, uh, our healthcare has got best instruments to take care of our own people? Just the, the logistics that we need. 